sins and griefs to bear. Okay, you can do it anyhow. Michael, would you feel comfortable doing our closing prayer tonight? No? <laughs> so, no, no! Sorry, he will get petrified. But go ahead and start with Tim. Dear our Lord, Father, please open up our minds and our hearts as we listen and hear the Word of God. Your Word. Please give us the mind and hearts of servants to serve each other and share the gospel with those that need it shared. Yes. Please be with us. I know you said you'll never leave us. But please give us the assurance that you are there with us. Yes. And that we are saved. And that we are yours. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. 295 in your blue book.
Can I get one? I yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, and pause a little bit. I had a great afternoon because one of my sisters and her husband stopped by for a little while. Uh, she told me, now my great, it's her grandson, so he's my great nephew. She told me she actually saw him online with Pastor Bill Marinelli, which was kind of where we used to all grow up at. And she said he didn't stay there very long. But it, like, hallelujah, all these prayers work. This is a boy that looks like he's coming back to church. So, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So let's do victory in Jesus. Victory in Jesus. Very what page? I don't know. No, that was like 269 <laughs> or something. No, it's not that. Victory in Jesus. Uh, 353. There's within my heart a melody. Is the song I was thinking. There's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low. Why does he whisper sweet and low? Now you know. <laughs> All right, victory in Jesus. There is victory in Jesus. <laughs>
appreciate our military men and women. Any other songs? One more. Sweet, sweet spirit. In the white book, it's 78. And I say the white book because it's got the verses in it.
and she begins this new treatment on Friday? Absolutely. Anybody else? Mary Ann. What's that? Mary Ann. Is that what she prefers, is Mary Ann? Yeah. Okay, that's Michael's mother. She prefers Mary Ann rather than Mary. Mary Ann. If, is she doing okay? Just... She, she's got a stomach ache. Oh. Huh. Well, I've got a solution for you. When you go home, you walk up to her and you say, listen, we're tired of your belly aching. <laughs> she's, she's probably tired of it aging too. Um, any others? What was the, uh, I was reading something and I came across the name Delphine. I would say that it's Greek in its origins. Um, I, I can't be for sure, but I mean, you could you could Google it on your phone and see if it Delphia. I think that it's probably from Greek. Is what I'm guessing. But they pronounce it Delpha. Is how they pronounce it, but it's spelled like Delphia. If, they, if it is Delphia, they just call her Delphia for short, or Del. Or Ryan calling her Mama Delly. And Tim, when he sees D-E-L-P-H-I-A, -E that's how you spell it, he pronounces it honey. Yep. <laughs> it's a what? Okay. He pronounces it honey. Oh, yeah. He says, hi, honey. Oh, yeah. In fact, if you go to see him, he says, this is my honey. This is my baby. And you can tell that he just loves that lady as much today as he ever did. You're a blessing, brother. You're a blessing. And we keep praying, you know, we'll bring around this. Keep taking it day by day. Hey, well, let's let's pray to fall together. Father, I know that as we come together tonight, we're grateful for the opportunity to be here. And we're thankful for, you know, within our state, there's not really anything to keep us from coming. I know that some people are afraid, and, and I understand that, but I think about the states where governors have declared, and no, there's absolutely no meeting together at churches. So we're thankful we can be here. We pray that you will continue to take care of us. We're very blessed here in this area. We've had very few cases, and we pray that that will continue to be the, the situation. We do pray, Father, that you'll meet needs. Um, I know that earlier Becky was talking about a family member that she's seeing you work in his life, and we're thankful for that. I know that she mentioned this morning that there was a couple people, one that had a heart condition, but that you're working in their lives too. We pray that you might continue that. We do pray, Father, for our, our military men and women, especially tomorrow on Memorial Day, the families of loved ones who gave their all for our freedoms, that, Lord, you bless their families, comfort their families, and help their families to know that we appreciate the sacrifice that has been made so that we can enjoy life here in the United States. But we also pray for current people that are serving that you will watch over them, protect them, and um, keep them safe, and bless their efforts. Because, Father, it is good to be in America, even with all of its problems. We are very blessed here, and we just ask your continued blessing upon our land, and pray, Father, that you might help us to turn back to you, because we desperately need you. We pray for our leaders, that you will give them wisdom about decisions that they make with regard to opening up the country. And again, we pray that you might destroy this COVID-19 so that more lives are not lost. Again, comfort families that have lost a loved one, those that are sick, help them to make a complete recovery. Father, we also pray for the other needs that we just talked about. I know that um, Mary had mentioned her sister, that her sister has this um, uh, new treatment coming up on Friday. We pray that that's going to go well. Pray that it will be effective. I know that Michael and Tony Sue prayed for Mary Ann, or they want prayer for her, that Lord, you will take away this pain in her belly. Pray that it's not anything serious, and pray that she will feel better. And Lord, we've just been talking with Tim about him and Delpha. Again, we just thank you for the way that you've continued to take care of both of them. I know that Tim is anxious to see more progress in his wife, and we pray to you, Father, that you bring her out. We know that you're a great physician. All that you need to do is to speak the word, and she can be restored to complete health and strength. It's very encouraging when they see even little signs, Father, of her opening her eyes and responding to things. It would be great to see her call Tim's name. Because, Father, as he said this morning, it's been so long since he's even heard a voice. And uh, 
So we ask your blessing on both of them and upon the whole family. I'm grateful, Father, that Tim has a supportive family that's there to help out. And we ask your blessing upon them. It was good to have some of them here this morning. We just pray, Father, again, that you will take care of the loved ones. And again, we pray with Tim the same thing for all of our loved ones. That, Lord, if they're not right with you, that you would speak to their hearts that they would get right. Because we do believe that the days are moving rapidly toward the return of your son. So please hear these requests. There are other needs. I know that Chuck isn't here tonight. And he's anxious to get something done on the 8th. We just pray that that will go well so that he can walk again. Uh, there are many, many other needs in our bulletin. Um, I, I didn't get a chance to report to everybody, but it was wonderful this afternoon to go to Pittsburgh and pick up Darlene and uh, bring her home. So, Father, we rejoice that you've taken care of her. But we come before you and, again, ask for your blessings. So as we have a chance to study your word, help us to really take it to heart and realize that you have given it to us so that we might learn and that we might be better servants of yours. We love you um, and just continue to ask for your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.